Hey everyone, it's Leslie Oman here from Hungry Heffy Crafts and last weekend I was at a craft fair in one of our local towns and I wanted to share with you some of the things which I picked up when I was there um, before I put them away on my shelves um, so that I could share with you the, all the great purchases that I made. The first thing which um, I wanted to do was to stock up on um, some essentials um, in my craft room and I was running short of some plain white cardstock and um, there was a stall there which was Anna Marie Designs at Code at UK and they had um, this super smooth printer card um, and they had samples out on display and it was really really lovely texture really smooth perfect for printing on the lady um, in the stall mentioned that they sell a lot of this for people who um, buy the CDs and then um, print their own design so if you are into um, downloading the digital papers and want to print them out this is a great card to use for that um, and they were actually doing um, buy one pack get another one free but I didn't really want two whites um, and they sold craft card and I can never get my hands on this so whenever I saw it on their stall I knew that I definitely wanted to pick pick up a pack of this and instead of two of the white I got the the craft um, free instead of the second white box so um, they're going to be going in my my staples drawer because they are the key elements for my crafting Another really cool thing which I picked up was some spellbinders. Um, I was looking for for these as soon as I walked into the show. This is the, the one I already had and this is the standard circle small. And I've had this for a few years now and I think that this is probably the most used um, die set that I have in my whole craft room because you use circles for everything. But what I found was that um, the the difference between one shape and then the next shape up so if i took pick these two out for example and um, if you wanted to layer them on top of each other the distance was a little bit too much um it, it wasn't it was too much of a border and um, so i picked up these ones which is the standard circles large and um, i've only used this once um so far but if you take the um, the small and then you can use the large and you can see that it fits perfectly. There's about, uh, I don't know, about a quarter of an inch gap around there. So it looks really, really pretty. Um, so I'm really pleased with those. This is what it looks like um, cut out on the card. So as you can see, just a perfect border. Um, whereas beforehand, it was just too much of a gap. It didn't quite sit right. Um, so the other one that I picked up was this one here. And it's called the Small Classic Inverted Scallop Circles. Um, and whenever you look at the, the picture, it looks a little bit odd and you think, gosh, that might not look nice at all. But when it's actually cut out, you can use these in conjunction with the circles as well. So for example, here is the, um, the shape cut out. And then you can layer the circles on top of each other like this and I think that looks really pretty I like the little scallops um, it's like a zigzag um, edge to it and it looks like a little rosette which are very popular in the industry just now so um, I was really delighted to pick those up they were um, $16.99 but um, one of the stalls was doing an offer for um, four for fifty and um, I paired up with another customer who was there and we got two each so that we could get them for $12.50 each which was a great bargain. So one of the other things that I got was um, some scrapbook papers and here's what I picked up. These were from um, a stall. I think they were probably getting rid of some old stock um, and I just wanted ones which were almost like a monocolor but with a little bit of texture in the design. So you can see that this purple here, this one is from Petals and Possibilities. Um, this one is from Scrapbook Walls and they have this almost like a graph print on it or a linen texture. 
This one is from Scrapworks, um, and it's a really nice grey, and I thought that would be quite nice for men cards, or even for baby cards, because it's quite subtle. This one is from Chatterbox, um, and it has the flowers on the back, but um, I thought that this almost gingham style um, in, the, in the yellow might be nice for Easter. This was a bit of a, an orangey, reddy, browny colour, um, quite a unique colour I thought, so I picked that one up. That's from Scrapbook Walls. Another one from Scrapbook Walls, I think that's the same as the first pink one. This olive colour, um, beautiful again for uh, spring and uh, summer cards and scrapbook pages. This one's another purple, a bit more of a mauve colour, a bit more muted. And I picked up a, another different green and another one of those greys. So they were, I think it was like five or six for a pound. So um, really not expensive at all. And um, I've already started using them. I've, I've cut out some little elephants from this grey colour um, paper earlier this weekend. So I'm definitely using them. One of the other things I wanted to pick up which was a staple element for my craft box is some uh, memento ink. I had been using this archival ink um, and it's great for stamping and then you can colour in on top because it is waterproof um, but it it's dried up I've had it for years and years so I, I wanted one to replace it and um, I heard good reports about memento so I'm going to give that a try and see what that's like so I'm going to pop that up there to live up there close to hand because I use that all the time. Some more little bits and pieces now. Um, these I bought at a stall and um, they were reduced down to like two or three pounds. But I thought they were really, really sweet. Let me see if I can break into the box so I can show you. There we go. And they are um, little, almost like hat pins, I guess you could call them, um, with a little love heart um, at the end. And it has a pearlescent sheen. And these look really pretty. You can put them through ribbon. You can make them into the bodies of butterflies. And they were super cheap and there was loads in the pack. And um, so I picked them up as well. And I guess you could always use them on sewing projects too if you really wanted to, but I think I'm going to use them on cards and um, scrapbooks. Um, one of the other stalls was um, also doing uh, a bit of a clear out and they had these stamps in a bargain bucket. Um, I don't know what these stamps are, this type of stamps is called. I've heard them referred to as smash stamps because of the smash book products which are available just now. Um, but they, you can see there that they look like an office stationery stamp and it has a little key at the side so you can turn it and um, the rubber will rotate in the inside. But I thought these were really cute and I have, um, I have a few dies which create little tabs and I like sticking little um, rectangles and labels on things and I thought these would be great for the labels. Um, this one here is called The Days and Seasons by Seven Gypsies. And we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, weekend, winter, spring, summer and fall. And that was just like three, four pounds, something like that. Um, and this one here is called Love. And we have Love Forever, Cherish, Bliss, Friends, Happiness, some kisses and hugs there, XOXOXO. I love you together, adore his and hers. And I thought that'd be cute as well for um, Valentine's Day and anniversary cards and um, and things like that. So I'm really happy with them. They're going to join my stamp pile. And I picked up in the same um, in the same stall this stamp set. Um, it's from Sassafras Lask, um, and the collection is called Be Different. Um, they're called non-yellowing clear stamps and the designs is called gas hogs and you can see here that um, they're little clear stamps but they look like they've been drawn or sketched in pencil so they have that whimsical feel but you've got a digger, a rocket, a, um, 
looks like a police car, an ambulance, an aeroplane, a motorbike. And I thought these would be perfect for my Monday Monday uh, videos and, and um, blog posts. Um, so it's always good and useful to have something in your arsenal that would do for men and boys. And I thought that was perfect and that was something like three pounds as well. So I picked it up and I thought that was great value. So um, the other thing which I got is um, some double-sided sticky tape. I always pick up double-sided sticky tape whenever I'm at a show because they do really great offers on the tape themselves. Um, and I think I got five tapes for three pounds, something like that. And um, it, it's just so cheap and you go through it, all I do anyway, I go through it like um, something crazy. So um, I always pick it up and then it stays on my shelf close to hand because I use it all the time. The last time I was at a show I really wanted a pair of um, Tim Holtz Tonic Studios scissors. I see people using this a lot um, on online and I've heard nothing but really excellent reviews. And the last time I went to a show, I couldn't find them anywhere. I think they were all sold out. So I saw this in the last stall that I went to and I just grabbed it and put it in my basket and um, picked it up. So I'm absolutely desperate to get these out of the um, the packet and get using them. So it, I'm sure as soon as this video is done, they will be out. There was another stall in the... Um, Another stall in the um, Make It Craft Fair that was called Every Crafts a Pound. And as you can guess, every item in the stall was one pound. But they actually did 12 items for 10 pounds. And um, they have a selection of things. Some of the, the items were just worth a pound really I think and then the other items would have been worth more than that so um, it works out quite well I thought and um, so I wanted to show you what all I picked up first of all a quick glue pen um, I use these uh, a lot I think I had some beforehand but they're all dried up so I knew that if I picked one of those up I would uh, definitely use it and um, I also picked up a new craft knife and some blades as well. Um, I let someone borrow one of my craft knives and uh, the other one that I have, um, I'm running out of blades. So I just picked up one. I, I don't really care which one I use. They, um, the different ones are thinner barrels and things, but I mainly use my scissors anyway. So I just needed a quick craft knife to use. So that was another two items. I couldn't resist these buttons. I have more buttons in my craft room than most shops, I'm sure, but these were really cute pastel shades, especially that sort of aqua tealy color. Um, and I thought it was really sweet and Easter's coming up and well, yeah, I couldn't resist that one. So I got some buttons as well. Um, this here is just a pack of card and um, I used to use little um, like record sheets um, is that what they're called? I think that's what they're called. Um, to stamp on, um, especially if you were um, like using a stamp and then cutting it out and putting it onto a card, um, rather than using an extra card blank or an A4 piece of card, um, I would have used the little record cards. But this was in the stall. There was quite a lot of pages in here, so I thought that I would pick that up. It's handy that you can. It's a, it's a nice size. You can just throw that in your in your tote and, and take it with you, so you have a nice smooth smooth card to take with you for stamping. These are little adhesive gems, and they are by a company called Simply Creative. I have ones like this that I've had for maybe a year or so now, and I use them all the time. They're such a nice, cute little size, and the selection of colors are really pretty. And they come on a strip, but if you take your craft knife, you just cut on either side of them, um, and then you can stick them wherever you need to stick them on your project. And like I say, the ones that I had previously have lasted me a long time, so they're definitely worth the money. Um, and when I saw these ones, I picked them up because I knew that they would be um, definitely used. These um, were also in the collection of stuff, which is from a for a pound. 
and it's pre-cut chipboard with a hole in it and these are for um, decorating to use as door hangers and um, I've made a couple of projects for kids wall hangings and, and things like that and I thought this would be something different than I could use these paint them cover them in paper and use these as um, as a, an alternative for gifts and um, so I picked those up they're really thick as well a lot of the, the chipboard that I have in my craft room is much thinner than this so I would have had to layer a couple on top of one another and um, I was going to get 12 items anyway so I thought that was a good buy I also picked up some acetate it's some of the thicker acetate that's 220 micron five sheets um, and great for using um, on cards um, but you can also use that for projects and things as well and the last thing which I picked up at this stall which was every crafts a pound um, was two packs of these 8 by 8 scrapbook papers and the collection is by GCD Studios it's a Helen Jones design and it's called Love Tokens and I flick through it and it's got a really really cool texture it's it's almost um, a linen embossed texture but then the designs look like they're watercolor and you can see that they're double sided um, and these are perfect for project because they're double sided you'll see on both sides and there's some really subtle designs some monocolors and then some that's a bit more um, obvious and in your face the, the patterns are repeated throughout um, but I, I don't know I was really drawn to it it was only a pound and I picked up two packs because I'm going to give one away to someone on my blog so stay tuned and I will be um, drawing a winner from one of our newsletter subscribers to win this pack of 8 by 8 papers I've got one more um, bag of purchases to show you and it's all from the same supplier so um, let me show you that it's from a company called the M sorry MDF man um, and you can find that at mdfman.co.uk and you can probably see from the photograph here that it is wooden cut um, letters and shapes and I think I must have spent so much time at this stall um, I just fell in love with it. I love these kind of things to use as home decor. So let me show you what I got. First of all, I picked up a C for Craig, which is my husband, an ampersand, and an L for Leslie. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm really excited about it. I might spray paint it. I might use acrylics. I might cover it in scrapbook paper. Um, I don't know, um, but like I say, I'm really excited. It's super thick. Um, it's oh, probably maybe 15 mil. It's 12, 15 mil. It's really thick. It'll look awesome on the wall. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet because I've got so much more. Let me show you. I also got um, an O and an M and an A and an N, which is Omen, which is our surname. And um, I think I might paint these black and put them at the top of a door frame. You know, you have the lip on the top of the door frame. I might stick them up there in the corridor or something. Wherever Craig will let me put them. I got a P for Piper, but I also picked up this, um, this circle and it has a really nice almost beveled edge. So I thought that I would maybe put this on her, in her room, um, but I would mount the P on top of the circle and I might use some, um, I might use some scrappy paper for that, or I might not use it together at all. Maybe I'll paint this in like a chalkboard paint and just use that as a chalkboard. Um, lots of ideas flying around my head just now. 
two more things that I picked up. First of all was Smile. I couldn't resist it. It's really cute. I love the, the font. And um, I think I want to have this in the corridor just as you walk home. So as you walk home every day and come through the door, then you're reminded to smile and smile at the world. Maybe I should put it at work, actually. So whenever I have a hard day, I walk into my office and I can see smile sh um, shining back at me. This is the last thing on my list to show you. And I'm really, really excited about it. Um, it is... Once again, the MDF, it's slightly um, thinner than the other ones. And for a while now, I've been thinking about making a little board book for Piper. Um, and when I saw these at the stall of the MDF Manda Kodak UK, I thought they were perfect. My problem with using chipboard is that little girls and little boys tend to put everything in their mouth and it gets soggy and the pictures will fall off. Uh, so this would definitely be more durable. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, whether I will do maybe an alphabet or um, just stick photographs from the outings that we've been on. One of the things I thought I might do would be put maybe like mom here and do a picture of me and then dad a picture of, of Craig and and things like that. Um, so when it's closed, you can see the names. I might do that. I'm not sure yet. Um, so watch this space um, and maybe there'll be a tutorial on that in the near future. So thank you for watching the video and seeing what I bought and don't forget that um, you could be in for a chance to win one of these 8x8 um, scrappy paper packs and um, details will be on the blog post at my website which is hungryheffycrafts.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day and don't forget to smile.